Uh, the Mavericks playing Bemidji State. Yep, so here's the next game. This is the other what could have happened had they played last weekend because Bowling Green played at Bemidji State. First game we did Bemid or we did Bowling Green. Second game we're doing Bemidji State. Starting off pretty quick. And so here comes Lucas Souter. Yep. Oh, not quite right away. Now Bemidji State was supposed was gonna probably be the team most people thought the Mavericks would be play. I'm sure many Bowling Green fans would have disagreed with that. Adam uh, Bra- Brady. Yep, their best player just went to the box, or at least their best scorer for sure. So we'll see if that helps the Mavericks out here. If you haven't watched the 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 versus Bowling Green video, if that would have happened, then 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 th- this is the ho- we're doing the whole game. Yep. game. No, not highlights today. No. Buffing on Reese Mullick. Yeah, <laughs> even they're out there, didn't they? Mm-hmm. So with one, one minute in, and they already got two guys in the box, one for each per. The scoring each? line yeah. two. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, here you go. Connor Mackey passes to Ooh, shot, but then he gets a big trip. Yeah, that was a and huge then hit. Number twenty-two for Bemidji State. Yeah. If we had the, like a roster thing in our hand, we could say who they were. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I don't know Bemidji State a hundred percent. I I know some of them, but. We'll know, see how things are going. Yep. Oh, there you go. I got Jeremko. Oh, oh I thought like he was going to score. I thought he was going to score. I thought he was going yeah. to score. All right. There's Mackie, who was a big star last game. Um. So, I have a question. Yep. If, if in this game, if, if you shoot it, but, but. Oh, okay. So, No, they have to either hit the, either has to go inside the goal or hit the goal. The goal is a shot on goal. Amazing state full strength. That's the goal. Oh, he scores! Just like last game, and he scored, I think, and yeah, and it's two to nothing. No, well, Dewar didn't score last game though. Oh yeah, wait, that was the penalty box. Yeah, he won the penalty box. Yeah. He, he's got on the stat sheet both games, that's correct. But for different reasons. I'm sure he'd prefer the reason he just showed. <laughs> All right, to do the My goodness, yeah. He Hookinson tried, just kept going round in circles. He tried to do the goal. Oh, look, it led to a hooking from Hookin <laughs> Tommy Muck. Hook the Hookinson, perhaps, from okay. all that turning around. So... That would be Driscoll for uh, Energy State. He, their goalie just got a shot on goal. Yeah, uh-oh. Is that interference, maybe? Looks like it should be on the goalie instead. Yeah, there it is. Looks like it should be on the goalie instead. Well, I guess we'll find out. But uh, they gave it to uh, a guy who actually didn't have a whole lot of penalties on the year, which is Josh French. All right, looks like you're doing something there with Smith. Oh, now you got him rolling. Yeah, because I wanted to try the trick to trick them. Ooh, just too far. There just like just like last game in the first period, yep. that like that exact same thing happened but with Lucas Souter. Yep, the other Floridian. All right. Maybe since you know uh, since Florida decided to declare Florida State the national basketball champion and uh, NCAA, maybe they should declare Minnesota State uh oh Shaq Diesel rebound score with Sordal. But maybe maybe they should uh claim the two Floridians from the Minnesota State Mavericks as the NCAA hockey champions since they're busy crowning champions and all. That would be cool. <laughs> all right. Here comes number 23. Yeah, trying to for... tie it up for the Bemidji State Beavers. Doesn't work. Oh, Michaelis. Oh, got knocked off the puck. That's pretty rare. Unlike Jake Kuremko, Michaelis was, fu- was still really good yep. after his injury. That's true. He was still in very good shape. Yeah, that happens sometimes. It's hard coming back from injuries, depending on the situation. That was Nick Karamko. Yeah. He 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 was a little worse, right? Yeah. Well, you gotta remember, Jeremko actually was sick. He had a uh, he had the uh, he had what they call mononucleosis, which makes a person really sick and tired for many, 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 many days. 
That's, oh, that's why quite. he wasn't playing for a while. Yep, at the beginning of the season, that's what happened. So, here we keep going. Lots of shots, lots of goals, lots of background noise. <laughs> yeah, background noise is my sister. Oh, there it is! I, I, I killed her. Ah, oh, it's alright. Josh French. There it is. So, alright. we got three to one game now. Julian and Prochnik trying to score four goals. Yep. Oh. oh, but he puts his leg out, yep. and he didn't shoot the puck anyways. Yeah, it's a, they're making a lot of stuff go on here. We'll see how McKay does here the rest of the way. He gave up the one goal on the, the big rebound in a real-life situation. He didn't give up too many rebounds, so... Oh, another big save. We don't like that one. You know well, you know, he may have made a glove slave on that one. Oh, you tried to, you tried my friend Brian Koob's old trick of running right into the goalie and see if he could score. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't quite work. That's funny. Yeah, good old Brian, he'd have like five shots on goal and three goals because that's all he ever did, ran into the goalie. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. All right, second period is done. Now we got one more period to see if the Mavericks can... I guess kind of have a weekend sweep of kind of hockey. From <laughs> Souter. And oh. And I did a new trick that you can do if the if the defense doesn't know what you're doing. Yeah, what's that? Remember my old strategy where, where so you so like you're in front of the goalie and then you go to one of the sides, go one and then spin around and then. Oh, yes. Yeah, and spin. then go straight for for the, and then go straight past the goalie uh, when when you're when you're going straight 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 after you spin around. Yep, yeah, like that. Then, oh. No. Okay. Uh, like when you're when you're uh, you go to one of the sides of you go to one of the fences. Okay. Or whatever you would call that. The wall. Yep. Yeah. And and then and then you Ooh. and then you spin around and then go the other way and then shoot it. Okay. Well, that was probably not a good idea of Rosen there because uh, a Rosen, I guess, technically it would be from the accent. Um, as uh, he just put the Mavericks on the power play with 301 left and they're down by two goals. Okay. And uh, here comes uh, Gerard. Oh. Oh, probably so close. I thought Charlie was going to put one in there. Driscoll's a pretty good goalie. Not sure how many years he's got left. He might have been a senior this year. I believe he started out at St. Cloud State at one time and then moved to Bemidji State. All right, let's see here. We've got uh, French. There it is. French he went right goal. through everybody. He had to go through him. Powerful goal. I'm guessing he'll be player of the game. What do you think? I mean, Duo probably going to be up there. Mm, French might my, my, uh, my, my score again and, yeah. that, and then get a hat trick. We'll have to see if the, uh, the hats come out today. Oh, that was a... Interesting pass. Well, now it looks like they're just going to try to get rid of the puck a lot more, but not a good idea to ice the puck, huh? Oh, there's 148 left. Okay. Yep. So only a little bit left of this game here. Not here comes Napravnik. And Napravnik wants to score. Ooh, lots of razzle-dazzle spins. And then wants to try Ooh. to... That's Nathan Smith. Yep. Smith trying to find a way. If nothing else, he's killing time. Whoa, oh. Driscoll with another nice save. Both these teams will be in our fictitious uh, NCAA tournament once we get that all finished off, because they both would have qualified, whether they won or not, according to the last uh, ratings that came out. The only team that gets to come into the tournament that wouldn't have qualified otherwise is American International College, as they had the extra, as they would have been the conference winner according to their record. Wait, there did, it is. Did the Mavericks play them once they got the Many years ago. Yep. We beat St. Cloud State last year in the NCAA playoffs. Maybe that's what you're There it is. Yep. Josh French and Walker Dewar, one and two. And then Sodal was that Sordal, I guess, would be how you say it. Oh, there it is. So we had ourselves a four to one victory on that one. The Mavericks would be raising the cup if that was the, so the uh, game as well. Only 12 shots that time as well. Out of four goals, though. You sure were shooting 33. It's between 25 and 33 percent the whole time. My passing was 57 percent. Actually, that would be 33 percent, wouldn't it? Yeah. 
Yeah, you weren't much into passing that game, were you? I had 57%. The other yep. team had 52%. Yep. So there you go. And we have ourselves a winner. Have a great one, guys. We'll Hi. see you in the next one. A Bobbling Mavic Production. Can I listen to it?